Hi everybody. I just want to do a really fast wish list for Christmas for artists and specifically for watercolor artists. And these are things that I wish someone would buy me if they could. So let's start off with some fun things. And this is actually featured in a lot of my videos and it's a palette. And this is just an example. It's kind of messy, sorry, but I got this on a wonderful website on Etsy and I will link all these down below by the way. These are so fun and there's so many different options in fact on Etsy from lots of different sellers, beautiful palettes that you can use in your studio to add beauty and also function. So check out the links below. I will link directly to this shop. Okay, another really fun thing that you can do for the artist in your life or anyone in your life you can go to artscal.com. It might be too late for this year. You've got to get your order in by December 6th, but you can put your artist most wonderful designs on little items. Like this is a coin pouch. I just want to show you a few more of these because I love them so much. That is of my late Sadie cat. And you can put different ones on each side. This is just so cute. And if you're interested in buying any of these, I do have some of these in my Etsy shop. You can message me. If your artist goes to a lot of events to sell things, you could get them like a whole set of like 10 or 20 for them to sell at their next little art event. You can get them on special for $5 each with free shipping. They also have purses, shirts, socks, shower curtains, duvet covers, pillowcases. They have everything. And by the way, I have a purse that I have that I made out of my design and I love that thing and I wear it to the grocery store and people ask me about the art and then I can be like, oh yeah, that's a painting I did. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> then these are just examples because there are so many, but these are little palettes of glitter paint. Yes, that's right. Glitter paint. What artist doesn't need that? And look how adorable. For this artist, she puts a little magnet on the back and she puts the paint in a shell. How cool is that? And then it comes with a magnetic box so they don't fall out. How cute. I've done tutorials with them, so be sure to check those out. And I will link a few more things that I think are fun in the description below that are related to handmade artisanal artist paint, watercolor paint that you can buy on Etsy. So many options. Uh, one of the things that I use a ton and that is called a paint puck. And I've had this for over a year now and I bought this on Amazon. It's a paint puck. So it has this little suction cup on the bottom and you just drop it in water and there we go. And then I just take a paint brush like this and now it is firmly affixed to the bottom of my jar. You can also buy these on Amazon in a jar, but I love this. And then when you have a dirty brush, you can just kind of scrub your bristles on the paint puck and it helps get your brush really clean. Don't you love that? Thank you to my Patreon member, Candy Kelly, for telling me about the paint puck. I love it. All right, I would be remiss not to mention paper because paper is the most expensive thing artists have to buy, you are doing them a huge favor if you get them a bunch of paper for Christmas. It might not be exciting, it might not be sexy, but oh, it's so great to have extra paper. My favorite paper at the moment is Cold Press, Hannah Mule, but they have a lot of different lines. It's The Collection. This is Cold Press, by the way. I made the mistake and bought Hot Press because the covers look the same, so be sure you get Cold Press. Unless you know your artist likes Hot Press, but Cold Press, 140 pound the collection hannah mule so i highly recommend this paper it comes in pads and it's great paper another super fun thing to play with are these stencils and i think the best ones the best line is by jim holtz i got online last year and bought these and once i started buying them i couldn't stop there's so many cool ones and your artist probably doesn't know about all that so I've got several videos about how I've used stencils in my paintings. So you can watch those to see what I do with them. But these are really fun to play with in paintings with watercolor and they really can spark some great creativity. Something that I've collected over the years are these splash books and these are the best 
watercolor paintings that get submitted to this very famous international competition and then it gets made into a book. I think they've moved to a magazine format. So these hardcover books are even more special now, but they just have such inspiring paintings in them and they make great gifts. And this is what my mom used to get me every year for Christmas for years. So I have about 20 of these and they're just so inspiring to look at as an artist and I highly recommend them. I have a mother-in-law who is into watercolor painting too, and this is what I get her every year, a subscription to Watercolor Artist Magazine. So this is the gift that keeps giving. It's such a treat to get a new magazine in the mail every, I think they come out every two months. So this is Watercolor Artist Magazine. Another really good one is International Artist. That magazine has a lot of inspiring paintings in it. So magazine subscriptions are really fun. These are really fun. These are super granulating paints. They're called Magic Changer Self-Evolving Mineral Watercolors. They're from a company in Canada. And I bought these to play with my, with my Patreon students. And you get one, two, three, four, five, you get 12 granulating, super granulating paint colors. And they're just so fun to play with. So I painted a peacock with them. <laughs> but this is a great gift. Now, this may not look like the kind of art that I do or your artist does, but let me tell you, there's so many good ideas in this book. And this guy, James Gurney, is a YouTuber and he has a great YouTube channel and he has a lot of great information about how to paint and how to design paintings and things like that in this book. And one of the things that was a game changer for me that I learned from him was the Rembrandt windmill principle that he came up with and that is in this book and I've talked about it before too and I will link a video here for you if you're interested in learning more about his windmill Rembrandt principle life-changing but it's also in this book so this is a great gift all right this is a great little gift for a watercolor artist it's an easel and what's so great about this is it's adjustable so a lot of watercolor artists like to paint kind of more at this angle. And so you can adjust this. It's a tabletop easel. It's by Dick Blick. It's their Julian watercolor easel. And this is a great little gift for your artist if they like to paint more on a slope instead of straight up and down. I like to use it to display art. I just think it's so pretty. So this is a great little gift for a watercolor artist. In the process of looking up Christmas gift ideas on Etsy, I came across some other things. I just can't stand and not share. So I found this shop, Alma Boheme, out of Savannah, Georgia, and she makes the cutest little watercolor travel kit. So check these out. I did a 2020 gift guide and I found a mask made from this same material, but I love the watercolor painting designs that are in these little travel watercolor pouch kits. And they're just the right size to take with you somewhere. If you're going somewhere pretty, you wanna sketch outside. It's a really fun little watercolor gift that I think a lot of different watercolor artists would really enjoy. And she has several different designs. I love the Frida Kahlo one. I love the Painter's Palette watercolor one. They're just so cute. It even comes with a little water brush. It comes with this little palette of paints, a little small set of travel size watercolor paper pieces. It's just adorable. Then there's this other beautiful watercolor shop, Essie Co. I'm probably saying that wrong, but they have all kinds of fun little things, these little handmade watercolor palettes of watercolor paints. And these are just absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how well they work in paintings, but this shop got really good reviews. They look like they're granulating and they're very earthy type pigments that will granulate beautifully. And here he's showing how he makes them and he uses clay and it's just really, really just so pretty. And as you can see, he has other little watercolor supplies, including brushes in this shop. And one is like this really super huge, extra large watercolor ink brush. How fun would that be to play with? Then you can see he other, has other paint sets. He has other sets of paint brushes. They look beautiful. I'd love to try these. This brush looks really cool. It has really long bristles. So when you have really long bristles like this, you can get really calligraphic brush marks and you can get a thin, tiny little point and then thick 
parts of the line and it's really calligraphic looking and I don't think this demo even shows what you could probably do with this brush. It's very similar to the kind of feel that you can get from a Sumi brush where you get really calligraphic, expressive, organic brush strokes with beautiful dried brush edges. And this would be a fun brush to get as a gift because it's not something an artist would probably ever buy themselves, but how fun would it be to play with it? All right, thank you so much for this holiday 2022, 2023 gift guide. I hope you got a lot of great ideas for your artists and I will see you next time. Now go watercolor your world. Bye everybody.